First at 5.30, a Providence police officer's firearm stolen out of his car in Foster. We first told you about this at noon. News since then, we've learned the rifle still has not been recovered. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen has been working this story all day and joins us now live in studio with the latest developments. Steve? And Mike Caroline, this is actually the fourth time an officer's gun has been stolen in Rhode Island this year. This time, authorities say it was the officer's personal rifle, but it was a department-authorized firearm. The car and gun were gone. Police confirm a Providence officer's car and the personal rifle inside were stolen in Foster Monday morning. Rhode Island State Police say the car was found in Hartford later in the morning using OnStar, but the gun wasn't inside. The officer's identity hasn't been released, but Providence Police Colonel Hugh Clements said he's a member of the department's rifle team, so the personally owned gun was authorized, inspected, and registered with Providence Police. A policy requires department authorized weapons be safely secured. It's the fourth known theft of an officer's gun in Rhode Island this year. In October, a state trooper service weapon and handcuffs were stolen from his personal car on Federal Hill. In June, authorities say a Providence police officer's badge and personally owned handgun were taken from his car on Jastrom Street in the capital city. In February, a Boston officer's department issued handgun was allegedly stolen by two women outside the Hampton Inn. Melissa Dacher and Nish Rivera were arrested and charged with theft of a firearm. The gun was later dropped off at a Providence fire station, according to a police report. Now, Providence police say the officer is not being identified, but said the officer is still on active duty pending an internal investigation into the incident. State police say they're looking at surveillance video to try to track down suspects in the theft. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.